State of Affairs welcomes John Donatio, who is uh, Executive Director of New Jersey Association of Counties. John, the organization does what? We are an advocate for all 21 counties in the state of New Jersey. Okay, so we have 21 counties in the state. We got 565 municipalities. That means mayors, councils, and everything else. You got 600 school districts. Only 586 of them are operational, right? That means you got your own superintendent. Everybody's got their own. It's a home rule state. Right. I want my own. Right. Some states across this country regionalize and have county government do it. Why is it different in New Jersey? Correct. It's the way New Jersey evolved, and you're correct. There's 47 other states across the country that have strong forms of county government. They have county schools, they have county police departments, and guess what? Their property tax bills are half of what ours here in the state of New Jersey. Is there a correlation between, by the way, it's so interesting, back in the day, my former mentor, the late great Speaker of the House, Alan Karcher, wrote a book correct. called Municipal Madness. And he said, it is madness that everyone has their own municipality. Right. Everyone has their own everything. Little tiny towns. He goes, why do you think your property taxes are so high? Right. That was over 20 years ago. Right. Why didn't we get the, me the memo? Right. I think we did get the memo. And I think it, we're seeing a, a slow evolution to county governments providing more traditional municipal services. For example? Uh, 911 dispatch, animal control services, public health services, delivery of our health and human service programs, meals on wheels. These are, these are services that municipalities, because they're having a hard time making ends meet, are now looking to county government to deliver these services so what about some more say, effectively. Wait, it's so ironic, sorry for interrupting. Mm -hmm. Some people say, you're saying let's have county government do more. There are some who say, why do we even need county government? You're right. I, I think they're misinformed. Again, I think they're really misinformed. I mean, county governments are the only regional form of government in the state of New Jersey. They're run effectively, efficiently. Eleven of the county governments are AAA bond rating. And again, if we look at the three other states uh, across the country that don't have strong forms of county government, they join New Jersey in the top five with the highest property taxes in the nation. So I think they're misinformed. I think we've got to look at county government as an effective resource, an effective mechanism. What's the resistance? What's the resistance, Sean, to quote unquote regionalizing more government services? I think people like have identifying with their own schools. I think people like identifying, you know, with their own, own police department. But again, I, I think we're seeing a gradual shift from that. I mean, we have Camden County. Uh, Camden has County the, has the police department. Correct, correct. Bergen County has a police department. Three or four years ago, Somerset County did a feasibility study and demonstrated that we wouldn't miss a beat in the level of service provided, and, and the county would save close to 40 to $50 million in the aggregate for taxpayers by having a county-run police department. Never got off the ground, unfortunately. By the way, Bergen County, folks, check it out. 7-0, Seven 70 municipalities. Right. Some are really small. Right. Have their own. That's a lot of money. It is. It do, is. do you, do you get you. the sense, John, that people are like, you know, I want my own, but I also want to bring my property tax down, and I'm willing to have an honest discussion about what it's going to take. And even if I can't have my own school district and I merge with the next one over or we have a new police department that has a different car or a different logo, if you bring my property tax down by a couple hundred bucks, thousand bucks more, right. they're open, or do they say, I want my own and I don't care? No, I think people are more they want open both. to it. I think, I think you're probably right. They want a little <laughs> bit more both. But I think there's less resistance now than there was even as early as 10 years ago. How I about mean, the political will? Um, you guys lobby. You know, the, you, you know, do you lobby? We do, yeah. Do, we, what we're, are not legislators? we're not a lobby. You're, you're, you're an advocate. You're an advocate. advocate. Right. What do legislators say? Hey, we're on board. I think they're on board with uh, finding innovative ways to share services, to regionalize, to consolidate. I don't think there's a political will, you know, to have 21 school districts now. Maybe we'll see. No, not 21 school districts. I mean, 21. Uh, uh, Eight, 500. Get this again, folks. There are 600 school districts. But there are 586 of them which are operational. Now, does that mean some of them don't have schools? It may mean that some of them send, <laughs> send students to, you know, it might be a sending district, you know, a K through 8 that's, that sends it to their high school to a high school. So. You know, I often wonder, I don't mind to get overly philosophical here, but I often do wonder how hard is it to have truly candid, honest conversations about the choices we make and the consequences therein. Right. Well, I think we're having one right now. We are. We're trying. Yeah, I think we're trying to have a conversation right now. And I've had conversations with legislators who want to eliminate county government. And I think where our end result, you know, our end goal is the same. We want less property taxes. We want government to run more effectively. So I think those conversations are, are, are kind of starting to, you know, take place because we can't continue down the path where we're, we're traveling down right now. Oh, I should say I live in Essex County, New Jersey, and um, there are beautiful parks. Correct. There's a wonderful zoo. 
Um, there's really good things that happen. And by the way, the major thoroughfare in Essex County is run at Bloomfield Avenue is the county. County runs road. it. Correct. So it's interesting. Even if it's not separate municipalities, there are right. services right. that are provided by county government. Right. Correct. There. I mean, and most people don't know this, that counties operate about 95% of the bridges in the state of New Jersey. Over counties? Seven, correct. 7,000 centerline miles, you know, of, of, of roads. Um, you know, we, we provide funding for our county vocational technical schools, our county colleges. Uh, uh, operate, uh, run our elections, uh, process deeds, and that's what the know, county runs. The county the clerk runs the elections. County election. clerk runs the elections. In addition okay. to the to the parks, I mean, I can go, you know, on, on you and could, on. You could, but we're going to so, get out of here. All right, good. Thank you, John. Thanks Stay for your time, buddy. I appreciate that's it. That's it for this particular edition of State of Affairs. Let's continue the conversation on Twitter. Follow me. You see the number right there. See the, you know, follow me on Twitter. Check you out next time. <laughs> State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Agnes Veris NJTV studio at 2 Gateway. Funding has been provided by PSENG, Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, the New Jersey Association of Health Underwriters, International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 825 the Northeast Regional Council of Carpenters, and by Verizon. Promotional support provided by NJ Biz, All Business, All New Jersey, and by Meadowlands Regional Chamber, building essential connections that drive business growth.